Over the last few days, we've experienced a lot of change. Um, it's clear now that we've got more to worry about than how to divert a phone or hold a video conference. Uh, we need a plan. Um, I'm sure you'd expect us to have a plan. Um, we, we have a plan. Um, we need a plan as a business. We need a plan as landlords. Um, I'm sure you're interested to hear what it is. I'm also sure that we're gonna to have to revise it often and when we do, we will communicate that to you. Um, in fact, we've actually, we've, we've devised a format for updates. I'll, I'll uh, let you know about that in a moment. When it comes to um, finding, fixing, renting, managing houses, um, what's happening with builders, uh, what people, price people are paying for houses, um, tenant demand, ability to pay rent, mortgage holidays, those kind of things. Um, we're in the flow of these things. We, we track a lot of uh, different uh, key performance indicators. We're going to spot changes very quickly and we'll keep you up to date. Landlords told us last week that the updates that we sent out were useful, so we will keep doing them. Never have our company values mattered so much or meant so much. Um, uh, stay, stay focused, steely determination, be bold and brave, communicate brilliantly. Um, we'll have to be all those things for sure. Our plan, we've got two uh, very simple focuses designed to guide us through this. First, we're gonna aim for normal and know the shortfall. So know, know what normal used to be and know exactly where it is. And the second focus is to help people and be kind. So first, on aiming for normal and um, knowing any shortfall. We've got to remember that only a few short weeks ago, we had a great business, um, uh, both with my landlord hat on and as owner of ForTheLandlords.com, I was uh, proud and happy to be uh, in charge of both. Uh, we can't lose sight of that. Um, so whilst working from home, uh, conducting distance viewings with tenants, um, using video phones, phones to, to talk. It all seemed very strange to start with. Um, we think it can be just as effective. It's possible that we might find next week that things find feel, feel very different, uh, but they produce quite normal results. We will have to see. But to give you some examples, uh, our office is closed. Uh, everyone is working from home. All the IT, um, all the phones, it's all, all, all working as normal. Teleconferencing systems working working well. There are only currently three or four team members that need to go out to work. Um, when they do go out, we've been careful assess, to assess who they are going to meet. They all drive to appointments and when they get there, they get out of the car and go into the house by themselves to do their work. Or they invite the tenant to go in to the house by themselves um, to conduct the viewing by themselves. It's not ideal, but it is workable. The office is empty. Uh, so people can come in and out one at a time to pick files, keys, that kind of thing up. Um, we clean the office, wipe all the surfaces down and uh, keep everything as uh, healthy and safe as it, as, as it can be. Um, so the back office spins as normal, applications are processed, maintenance done and uh, rent is collected. Um, last week we, we did that for, for you know, sort of two thirds of the week, working from home and, and, and various people um, moving out to work from home and it produced normal results. So we're aiming for normal, and that's part of our main focus. However, there are some things that are just not going to be in our control. Uh, we might hope and like for them to be, but they're not going to be. Um, we're planning on major disruption for the next six to 12 months. Um, we can see tenants being made redundant. This is affecting everyone, and I suspect it hasn't really got going yet. Um, Whenever something falls short of normal, I wanna know what it is and how far short it fell. Our second focus then is to help people and be kind. First, on a human level, having a good plan helps us to follow our social responsibility, doesn't it? Um, isolate as much as possible, reduce social contact. Um, where we can help, we will want to help, and I'm sure we will all help wherever we can. Certainly the conversations I've had with colleagues um, when developing this plan and these focuses were all around helping. That's what uh, gave us the, the title for this second focus. It was, when discussing the focus, it, it was great to hear that um, that human element certainly came first. 
What also struck us was that helping people and being kind are the hallmarks of a, of a great business. Any great business focuses on helping people solve problems. Uh, if they do that in a kind way, people definitely notice and they certainly will do now. One of the thoughts that kept popping uh, into my head over the last few days was helping people. And for us, helping people means helping landlords. We are for the landlords.com. Uh, there might be other people we can help. I and the team might help other people personally in our personal lives, but our focus must be on you, our landlords. That's the business we're in after all. If our first focus is about aiming for normal, but measuring any shortfall, our second focus, helping, is about adapting and making up for any shortfall. Every percentage point we um, closer to normal uh, we can be, the quicker we'll be out of this and on the road to recovery. We need to be kind whilst we're trying. We've got to remind ourselves we are lucky. Um, as a business owner, I'm lucky. As a landlord, I'm lucky. Uh, as a business owner, we're profitable. We were profitable. Uh, the business doesn't have any debts over seven days old and we've got cash in the bank. Um, at least we estimate 50% at the moment of our business is business as usual. If you think of the elements, you know, if, if you're in the leisure and tourism uh, business, for example, right now, exactly 100% of your business is, is, is gone. We've got at least 50% of our business that we think will happen exactly the same on Monday morning as it does now. And um, potentially we can, we can improve on that as well. Happily for you as our landlords, a, a big chunk of that 50% is the, 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 the business of renting uh, properties and collecting rent, you know, the, the ongoing day to day. So um, there might be no big drama on Monday morning. I'm sure there'll be lots of little things we've got to contend with. And if more news comes in, I'm sure things will happen as well. We've got assets that work for us. And to a large extent, we're going to in, be insulated uh, from this more than most as landlords. Now, there will definitely be some financial pain. It's unavoidable. Um, people you know, me, you, uh, the team here. I know I've got a responsibility to our landlords and to the team here um, to keep your business running, to keep tenants in homes that are decent and safe and to keep our, our business running and your business running. I'm also sure that there will be opportunity. There always is. Um, our phone was ringing off the hook last week. Uh, with landlords wanting to invest. Uh, we've got calls from landlords who self-manage with their properties, their desperate advice, and we're taking on uh, new, new instructions, um, even last week. Two potential acquisitions of lettings businesses, but lettings businesses for sale, landed on my desk. Um, and I bought three houses last week. Um, nothing to do with the crisis, but nonetheless, uh, all these opportunities are coming at a time when I'm well aware others are struggling and I'm sure everyone, including me, is going to be faced with some, some tough choices. As of today, I'm going to suspend my wage from this business um, for the foreseeable future, and I'm, I'm only going to live on uh, personal savings. That's to give me a clear conscience when making those choices um, for, for the good of the business. It's what being kind means for me in these circumstances. Uh, if we make it or not, and I suspect we will, um, it wasn't because I took whilst others were left out. And I've, if I do have to make those, uh, those tough choices, then um, it, it, it won't be uh, because of anything that I did. I can, I can say I've, I've left myself in a neutral position there, if you like. So helping is gonna mean just that. It's finding a solution to some problems. It's the very definition of entrepreneurialism, after all. Um, we're a business, and a business exists to turn a profit. Um, Second only to the health emergency, this is a, an economic emergency. Um, I think it's gonna be our collective responsibility to keep the business, um, the businesses of the UK um, turning wherever possible. I think that could be the biggest help. Being kind means finding that solution and offering the help uh, in such a way as to be accessible at these difficult times. Uh, perhaps deferring payments or temporarily reducing fees, that kind of thing. If we can be both things with our second focus, helpful and kind, perhaps when we come out of this, um, it'll have gone some way to making up that shortfall. So to really dig into what I've been saying and why, um, focus one, know what normal was, measure 
what it is now, know the shortfall. It might not be good, uh, but I think being certain of the numbers uh, will tell you what the size of the challenge is. Focus two, be helpful. Aim to make up the shortfall somehow, but be kind whilst you're doing it. We're going to continue to run a great business and we should aim to come out of this in great shape if we can. So I'll come on to the updates now, and this is a format I want to repeat regularly. Um, I'll start recording these videos more regularly. I, 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 can, I, I know already there's an appetite for them. We, we, uh, you know, unfortunately, over the last couple of weeks, I've, a couple of days, sorry, I've had a number of phone calls that I just haven't been able to respond to because we were busy doing all sorts of things. And the ones that I have responded to have been the same questions over and over. Um, and I'm not saying in a, in a repetitive, boring way, I'm, I'm happy to answer them. But what I do know is making videos like this is a more efficient way to get to get the answers out there. So um, in our business, we, we find, fix, rent and manage property. Um, so that will be the end agenda every time. It will be in that order. We track over 500 different data points in the business. So if something's changing, I'm going to know about it. Um, we track them daily and we report them weekly. I've changed that. We now track them daily and we report them daily uh, and we're having a, 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 a once daily briefing where all of those data points will be assessed and uh, anything that falls outside of normal. Um, we, we will look about and uh, look at and talk about. We will still be having the weekly meeting where we perhaps get a bit more time to go in depth and, uh, and a monthly one as well. So we're going to be really on these numbers. So find uh, buying houses and landlords who are looking to invest. Uh, first of all, people are still selling houses. Estate agents are still open, they're still conducting viewings, they're, they're distance of course, um, but we are still buying as a business. I am still buying. Um, we're going to keep a very close eye on that this week and next update will tell you what's happening there. We had an unprecedented number of landlords on the phones and emails last week uh, looking to invest so much so we had to create a queuing system. So that's... Um, that, well, that's a fact. I'm, I'm also going to say whether it's a, a good thing or a bad thing, but it's a, it's, it's a fact. More people are looking to invest right now. Um, let's see if that continues next week. Fix. So that is builders, um, suppliers, prices, lead times, that kind of thing. We've currently got just over 100 maintenance works jobs in progress and approximately 30 renovations of newly acquired buy to lets and HMOs. Everything is normal right now. Uh, there is some concern about suppliers, uh, supplies being available from suppliers, uh, but so far nothing has impinged on timings. There haven't been any shortages. Um, we had three calls from builders looking for work on Friday. That's unheard of. Um, the cost of building works had been a steadily rising um, cost um, over the last couple of years. Uh, perhaps all that will tail off a little bit now. I don't know. Rent, so that's tenant demand and new landlords looking for help with management and, and taking on new businesses. Tenants are still making appointments and we are still agreeing lets. Uh, the number of lets that we agreed last week was normal and we will keep an eye on that. We are seeing a rise in the number of landlords who are asking for help for renting out their properties and I have also seen um, a number of uh, let agreed cancelled because the person has either lost their job um, or they were moving several have, have left the country they were moving to uh, a job a role in this country and that no longer exists and they were cancelled almost all of those we've we filled because they, they came in on Monday Tuesday and we'd filled the vacancy um, the, the, the the void um, by Thursday Friday so everything's normal on that regard manage so this is the the business of managing an ongoing tenancy and perhaps the biggest number of questions we've we've fielded have been from landlords with tenants in occupation uh, and, and under full management and the questions were things like are rents still being received i've heard that i can't evict a tenant for three months now what's a rent holiday um can i claim a mortgage holiday and how do i do that landlords felt that there wasn't much clarity uh, and hopefully we can give some I think all the pieces were there. Um, they just needed uh, putting together so you could see the, 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 the full picture. I can see that the situation structurally, uh, technically, legally um, now is as it, as it was before the crisis, but with two key differences. One, the government's asking landlords uh, to help if needed, um, to be patient probably. And two, 
the government are offering help too, and it's very substantial help. Um, I'm, I will, I will, you know, fast, fast forward two years, I think we might be uh, scratching our heads at actually how big that support package was. It's uh, quite unbelievable. So if six months ago you had a good tenant who came to you with a solvable problem, so I'm, I, what I'm saying here is that the situation is, is essentially the same now as it was six months ago. So let's put yourself in the position six months ago. They've lost their job, but they're looking for another Right there, you as a landlord would have had a choice. After checking carefully uh, with the tenant, you might have chosen to evict, or you might have chosen to be patient, wait for a few days or a week or so, whilst they got themselves sorted and reported back all the time you'd have been communicating, and you'd have made the judgment based on the tenant's prior history, wouldn't you? That would have been a, a, a given. As a business, we'd have recommended serving all the notices required, um, just in case, you yeah? know, tell the tenant, I'm serving this notice on you. I know you're trying to get things sorted. I believe you will, uh, but I need to put this in place because it's a time um, thing and we'll put it on there now and then it's there as, as a marker if I need to fall back on it. Hopefully your tenant would find a new job, start to pay the rent again and clear the, the arrears. Hopefully you'd been kind throughout the whole thing. Now, most tenants are decent human beings who will treat you decently if you treat them decently. Um, the expectation of you as a landlord would, would be that you'd be carrying enough financial reserves to carry yourself through the situation. Um, and if for any reason you did not, you could always have called the bank up and asked for help. The bank might have helped you. Um, and if they did or did not help you, their decision would have been a judgment call based on your prior history with the bank. The situation is now largely the same. The only change being if the situation is caused by coronavirus, the tenant should get some help from you in the form of three months patience. The tenant is now also entitled to claim local housing allowance at a much higher rate. It is, it is being increased substantially. So you as a landlord can also call, now call your bank, explain the situation and could potentially get some um, help in the form of a payment holiday. It's important to note that as a landlord, your bank is not duty bound to give you a three month mortgage holiday. It's dependent on your own creditworthiness. It's not a right. I have known two landlords do it recently and they've been accepted, so they've said yes. So um, also, and it's important because we have taken, um, you know, the way we read the word, and we've taken legal advice on this, if you need to evict the tenant for any other reason, such as antisocial behavior, you can. So similarly, right now, we will be very careful to ask tenants uh, questions about the circumstances before entertaining the idea of a rent holiday. We had several calls last week. Um, it didn't get to that, but uh, we did. And we'll also collect uh, any written proof so we can pass it on to you as a landlord so you could pass that on to a, 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 a bank. Um, really importantly, as of Monday, our process now includes signposting to the council so the tenant can call, um, can access local housing allowance, that is uh, the LHA, which has been increased. That'll be a standard procedure going forward. But last week, um, arrears are normal. Uh, in fact, they're slightly below normal. Uh, but again, we'll keep you updated on this. That's it for now. I'm sure this week will be interesting, challenging. Um, we will be aiming for normal and tracking any short before very carefully, ready to keep you informed. Take care, stay safe.